Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna see if you get your planes that you already own on PC on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Do you actually get them if you've already downloaded the game for your Xbox? So we're on PC at the moment. I'm gonna to go to Marketplace. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna to go to Profile. We go to my hangar. You can see I've got the Eurofighter Typhoon. I've had that for quite a while now since it came out. But what I'm gonna do is switch over to the Xbox and see if I can log into my account on the Xbox and see if that shows up in my account. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quickly switch over. I'm gonna actually close down this because you can't log it into Microsoft Flight Simulator if you already got it open on the PC. So I'm just gonna press X, completely close that down. We'll switch over to the Xbox. So now we've loaded into the home screen. I'm going to go to Marketplace. Well, actually, I'm going to go to Profile first. I'm going to go to Hangar. I'm going to change aircraft. Let's see if I can find my Eurofighter. It's not actually in the Hangar. So I'm going to go back to Home. We're going to go to the marketplace, full catalog. Uh, we're going to go to categories, aircraft, subcategories. We'll go to jets, and it has got it that I've actually owned it. We're going to click on it. I'm going to have to download it. So I'm going to press download. It is 585 megabyte. We're going to wait for that to load. Home. Go to profile. Go to the hangar. Change aircraft. And the Eurofighter is in there. So I'm gonna pick the Eurofighter back to the home page. It's gonna give it a quick flight. So we're just gonna find Heathrow Airport. We'll take off from there. We'll wait for it to load. Uh, the settings completely change on your Xbox controller to what I thought they originally were before the new Sim Update 5 dropped a couple of days ago. Uh, completely changed the controller if you're using your Xbox controller on PC. Uh, it is a case of remapping your controller if you prefer to keep the same Xbox controller settings when the game was launched on PC. I'm going to put ready to fly. Looking all good. We've got live weather on. And it is really nice uh, here today. We'll change the camera angle. We'll go external. Get rid of that. We'll take the brakes off. We'll go full reheat. take off gear up and there you have it the Eurofighter Typhoon on the Xbox so if you've purchased content on the PC and you've downloaded 
Microsoft Flight Simulator for your Xbox. Simply sign into the account that you use to play on PC and then you'll have to download your aircraft or any add-on sceneries you might have bought for airports and stuff like that. I've just left someone in the distance. Right, I hope you like that video. I will be making quite a few of these Microsoft videos. Uh, let me know if you play on PC and you've upgraded or you've got an Xbox Series X or S and you're thinking about purchasing or actually getting the game on the game of pass uh, you can still use your aircraft even though you've purchased them on PC on the Xbox so uh, drop a like leave a comment and I shall get back to you with another video thanks for watching